to hang out when we point I, to Twitch I chat and talk to him all day. I miss Cinder. But, but he's he's in a I don't want to say he's in a better place now because there's obviously a you know that has connotations. Mm -hmm. He has a job now. Updates yeah. in bracket. Maniac lost to NYU's very own Aquars, the Shulk player. Oh, I'm I'm very excited to see this. Is Vivi not opting for the hero, not opting for the Terry, just going straight oh, to the trident to soul man. I was gonna do my bracket Same. update thing. Yeah, no, they but we can do that right later. We it. can do that later. And. I, I like this a lot from Vivi, both like obviously this... I think match I think matchup wise, at least on paper, I actually think Lucario does the best against Duck Hunt of, Out of the three, right? Out of the three. Like you get a hero because of bounce, but Duck Hunt, outside of like a couple hits, right? Outside of if you don't SDI up air right. Yeah. Or like back air at ledge. Duck Hunt can struggle to kill and you live for a very I was, long time. I was which gonna Lucario say the same thing. Loves. I've seen this happen before where like Vivi will just find a fair bear at like 30 with aura and just kill or like a random forward smash and just kill and there's so much like the duck hunt player has to work so much harder than the Lucario player here no no disrespect you also get the teleport counter so if fawn is in the wrong position you get bopped yep. you have really good air mobility you have a good recovery you even have good edge guarding depending like if there's no cannon play i also am just gonna say i think lucario is Vivi's best character like i, I think agree. lucario plays with a level i think vv plays with a level of confidence with this character that when they're on when their stuff is working with hero you see but i think they get tilted with lucario less than hero because they have that you know, it's, okay, uh, this character's not great. Great force palm there. I think there's definitely like a wealth of experience thing where like one of the most important things in Smash games is like your ability to like recognize situations on the fly visually and like react to them super quickly. And Vivi's played Lucario more than any other character. Mm -hmm. So you sort of get these reactions. These two have played each other so much though that you might see some things that look a little strange, but it's literally just like a... Yeah, the player check. Yeah, You're playing like, the player, not the matchup. Exactly. And I love that from Fawn on starting to hit those back throw combos into Can. We saw the miss a few earlier on in bracket, but starting to warm up, hasn't been able to practice as much recently, so really has just been entering. And I will say in the longer term, I think the fact that Fawn is practicing Snake more seriously alongside Duck Hunt is going to be really beneficial to her in this I matchup. I agree. Because I think Snake, I'm biased, I'm a Snake player, but I think Snake does really well against Lucario because while you have all the benefits in zoning that Duck Hunt does, that character just also kills you like nobody's yeah, business. Yeah, but Lucario killing Fawn like nobody's His business. business. And this aura is so dangerous because any, any meaningful hit can kill, there's the aura gone and... and that was gorgeous from Fawn yeah. on really putting Vivi in a checkmate situation. You can't jump in earlier because of that can being above head. Exactly. But then you, but then the, 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 you get put in perfect position to get grabbed out of the corner. And because of where Vivi is in relation to Fawn, in relation to where that jump got covered, you now get a combo to throw. I love Fawn's defensive use. You'll notice that. It's called shield can there. That's Yes. And that's a new thing in Ultimate where you can ping, ping can in that situation. Fawn loves to rely on that as a mix-up because of how good, right, you can dash cancel no, shield I, in this game. And exactly. it just makes it makes her so scary to contest that on defense. Yeah, Vivi just like loves to chill out in the air here, like charge the aura sphere, poke with the aura sphere, like use it around for movement. Vivi just like waiting out the wall of, you know, can clay pigeon. But gets grabbed for it. Yep, and I love that gunman from Fawn as well. You know that, hey, I'm not gonna necessarily snipe you here, but if you try and land with an option, as Vivi did, it puts you in that hit stun, allowing Fawn to get the punish on the reversal as well. That being said, she's just trying to find her way back down to stage here. It can be so scary to do against a Lucario with Aura. Vivi very much online right now. I love the movement mix up, but get down, Mr. President, says the gunman, getting yep. you out of the way, keeping you alive. And Vivi now forced to jump in again, that hit stun on from get, from hitting the gunman allows Fawn the little bit extra time to kind of get out of Dodge Scott free. Agreed. That forward smash definitely would have taken it. The extreme that speed gets crazy. interrupted by the gunman too. And yeah. this gunman is just the MVP of this game so far. Oh my god. Fawn's use of gunman is always really impressive. People are like, is gunman a good move? Oh, it's, it's laggy. Really That's, what That's what I was talking about. That's what I was talking about. Vivi does this against every character through Cario, against Steve, against Min Min, against Duck Hunt, against Rob. The counter is the ace in the hole. You, you never expect yeah, it's it. It's one of the best counters in the game so against good. against specifically projectile characters along <laughs> with, you know, Greninja's, which acts very similarly because it allows yeah. you both, you can change the direction of it and because it 
teleport. You, no, you it's, hit it's so good. And it hits so hard. Scales with Aura. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Ubel for subscribing. Double team is broken. He's right. We miss you. We, me we miss you, we Henry. Miss you. Feel I hope I hope you are still healthy. Yeah. Um, but going into game number two, honestly, I Fawn it didn't Did like didn't like it wasn't like Fawn necessarily got outplayed the whole time. The, the two of them were playing it very yeah, very close. It was just VV managed to hold that counter, which we knew was coming at some point, but till the last second, just long enough that you're like, okay, maybe it's not yeah. coming this game, and that's when you pull out that ace in the hole. And this is that effect that I was talking about in the matchup where like. Duck Hunt can have all these advantages in the neutral, but like you're not killing until so late. And Vivi had 100% on the counter. It's going to kill you, regardless of where you are in the stage. I love that setup from Fawn. On Vivi thought that that Fawn was going to go back for a can twist, maybe with an up air there on platform set up. Instead, Fawn on switches back, use that frame one clay pinch to interrupt, and now kind of finds an advantage state that. She's continuing and has done a beautiful job using that, the fact that all these projectiles, whether it's can, whether it's gunmen, or have Dead. physical properties to really just like intercept a lot of Vivi's movement and force them to respect exactly her zone own on a defensive level, not even with the hitboxes but like you, know, you see from other zones. But you know what? Your adaptations might not matter because Vivi just hanging in there, playing around all the options so well, like. Fawn is setting up these things. Vivi just like waits for the option, even just opts to play for reversals a lot of the time in the matchup. And if you notice that up tilt come out on can from Fawn, up tilt, up air, reverse hit and air, sweet spot forward air are all moves that when you hit the can, it will always send it back towards Duck Hunt, no Ooh. matter which direction it's supposed to go Sorry. otherwise. I just saw Gunman confirm into up tilt, up air, up air. Yep, and the spike to boot, but that's a Lucario with Aura. They're going to get back all day, every day. Unfortunately, not enough time to get that Force Palm off, so I'm not going to find the stock just yet. Vivi going for the double team, but Fawn being able to hold that shield can means that Vivi just has to opt to use it defensively, get yeah. back out of dodge. The can is out of play temporarily, though. Vivi tries the cheeky play again. Oh, the, no. oh my god! Speaking of cheeky plays, Vivi jumped in and used that Aura Sphere on the gunman to extend the hitbox, which has come to their detriment over and over before, but this time uses it offensively to extend yeah. the active hitbox. It was so smart. And that's what I was saying. Opting to play for reversals in some of these situations where Duck Hunt might not have the best tools, but the up air just catching Lucario's floaty jump out there. And this is the last stock of game two. Fawn needs to just... You need to stay disciplined. You need to make sure you're not giving Vivi anything because every opening seems like it matters so much. And that can just kind of got stuck going nowhere. Unfortunately, Fawn hitting that wrong angle of that down angled F tilt there. So wasn't able to send it the distance, just racking up those extra hits. And unfortunately, because can can only take seven pings, it means that, you know, if you have too many, like we saw there, you just kind of have to get rid of it, reset, and you just completely lose stage control for free. Exactly. And I, Fawn just playing out of the corner, taking their time. I like this idea. It lets you play reactively and force Vivi to come to you, camp out the Lucario, yep, right? And you're sitting behind the platform, which again, like we talked about before, with, in Vivi's last set, limits Lucario's ability to jump in on you. But unlike that, you can you can you get to control that horizontal space a lot more than the vertical. Oh, and you can set up gunmen as we've seen Fawn doing as essentially a wall to wall block out these aura spheres. Yeah, watch out for Vivi in the corner here though. Gonna be looking for some big hit, a back air, maybe an aura sphere confirm. Yeah, I think I think I think Vivi, the way we've seen Vivi start to mix up whether they're jumping forward or jumping in was was definitely oh, looking for an aura no. sphere confirm, but that's that's Fawn not being able to yeah. to practice, right? Exactly. That's Fawn just entering bracket, which we mentioned earlier, and we've kind of seen in a couple small ways throughout the set. We saw it there, we saw it, we saw it earlier on with just some, you know, a couple more missed right throw confirms than we normally see from her, and that's just like having real life stuff going on. You can never fault yeah, someone for that. But you know, I mean, in the same vein, I want to shout out like. Vivi's callouts in the two sets we just watched in general were absolutely like Oh my god, they like, were it's it's that it's like the the awareness of every single thing the opponent's doing like all the time. This was so oh 